Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another Premise Log episode. My name is Jonathan and today I'm going to show you how to use Oxygen to build a team member section on your website. And this is going to be really beneficial because the templating function in Oxygen will allow you to make one template that renders all of your team members. So if you or the client decide that you want to make a change to what people's bios look like perhaps, then you only have to go make that change one time. And this is really awesome. I'll also, also show you how to set up like, for instance, the all team members page in this case we're just going to call it doctors and um, then that's going to basically render out everybody in the the site as a whole in the team section so uh, i'm going to record this in real time i've kind of run through this once so i'm not going to fumble through this too terribly i hope but i want to show you what it's like in real time and exactly what this process looks like with no significant cuts um, so basically what i'm going to do here is jump right into the wordpress back end and then I'm going to just show you I have a couple of pages just for the sake of content being on the site. So of course we have home and doctors are going to be the main two that we're concerned with. Um, and then underneath our plugins, that's another crucial piece to this. Everything that you see here minus oxygen is free and available just in the WordPress uh, plugin, you know, repository. So advanced custom fields, you don't actually need the pro version. You can just have advanced custom fields free. Bulk press is just a nice little tool that I like to use to be able to quickly create posts, whether it be pages or in this case, team members. Classic editor, I prefer over Gutenberg for the time being. And then CPT UI is going to be what allows us to create our custom post type that we're just going to call uh, basically team members in this case. And then of course, oxygen to render our site and to build the template uh, that's going to display all of our team members. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and mouse over CPT UI, click add edit post type. And then from here, the first thing you're going to come up with is the post type slug, which in this particular example and how we're going to do this doesn't make a whole lot of difference. Um, so what I'm going to do is just go team members like that. And then our plural label is going to be team members. And then singular is team member, just like that. And then all you have to do is hit add post type. And then what you notice is the team member post type is now successfully added to the site there. So that's really awesome. Um, I'm going to stay inside of CPT UI for the moment and go to edit post type. And then down here all the way at the bottom, if this were a client website, what I would like to do is under menu icon, just Google search the dash icon, which is basically the WordPress icon set. And that will allow you to change this little pin here to something like a picture of, you know, people or like the icon of, of, uh, the group of people, for instance, you don't have to worry about that at the moment, uh, but that's really all you have to do. So the custom post type is ready. Now, of course, if you go in there, we don't have any content yet. So uh, prior to us actually going and creating a team member, what I want to do is create our custom fields first. So this is going to allow you to create some more configurable options, like let's say the title of this particular person or some social media links, their phone number, anything like that. So let's click on field groups, add new. And then title this field group something like team member details. And we're not going to use oxygen for this, so just go ahead and hide that window. Um, down here, post type is equal to, change that to team member. And then our position, we're going to put high after title, which will make sense why here in just a little bit. Under add field, you don't have to worry about putting the team member name, you don't have to worry about the uh, featured image, and you also don't have to worry about the actual content, like the biography of that particular person, because we're gonna use the built-in WordPress uh, elements for that. So the person's title, and, the, and you know, the person's name will actually be the post title. The featured image will be the image that shows up on the front end of the site for that particular person. And then the WordPress content editor will contain their bio text. So here, all I'm gonna do is just put this um, like team, mem team member title, something like that. And this field name here is gonna be important to remember. So make sure it's not overly complex. Um, and then also, it's, you know, it's, it's not too difficult to type. So in this case, I'm actually just going to take out the word member and one underscore. So team underscore title. That way it's unique enough uh, that if anything else is called title on the site, we're not going to be competing with that. Now the field type, you can just leave as text. And then if you want to make it required to where they can't publish the new post without filling in that field, you can do that. I'm going to go ahead and do it. And then under add field here, let's just put something like their Facebook link. And then once again, let's leave the field type as text. Do you want this to be required? Not everybody has a Facebook, so let's say no in this case. And then let's say their phone number, something like that. So phone number, and let's say everybody has to have a phone number on their profile. So that's really all you have to do from the advanced custom field standpoint. Go ahead and click on publish. 
And then what will happen is if we go to add a new team member, you'll see our team member details are right there below the post title. So that makes it super easy. Let's just go ahead and say this person's name is Susan Margaret. That's not how you spell Margaret, but that'll work. <laughs> um, this person's title is going to be Chief, Chief Financial Officer. And then their Facebook link, she doesn't have one, but her phone number is going to be 855-123-1234. And then her uh, biography text, we can just put something like this, is Susan's bio, and we will update it later on. And then from here, the featured image, let's just get a picture of a woman that we already have uploaded to the site. She looks like a Susan to me. So we'll click on Set Featured Image and Publish. And now you have your first team member. So that's really great. However, we haven't created our oxygen template yet. So if you go ahead and open it, then that's not at all what you would want. The post title and the post content are there, but it doesn't look at all like our site. We can fix that super easily by creating our oxygen template. But before that, I want to go ahead and fill in the rest of the team members on this site. And what you can do where, where something like bulk press comes in handy, especially if you're adding, you know, 10, 12, 25 team members to a site, I like to go into this post section here change the post type drop down to team member, and then you can just add in the people's names. So this post title is just gonna be, let's say like Mike Jones, and then um, Peter, Kathy, something like that. And then let's just say uh, Margaret Susan. I can't spell Margaret for the life of me apparently. And then let's just click on add posts. So now if we go back to the team member section, then all those posts are there. So it makes it super easy if you're trying to add pages or you know posts or whatever in bulk. That's a nice little tool to be able to use. I'm going to go ahead and fill in the team member details on all of these people, and then we'll get into filling in our oxygen template. Okay, so now I have all of the team members filled out with their titles, Facebook links, phone numbers, all the content that you would need in the team member section. So what we can do is actually go ahead and create our oxygen template now. So what we're going to do is uh, we already have our main site-wide template that is rendering our header, our footer, and our inner content. And then we're going to go ahead and click on add new template. Let's call this one team member details. And then we're going to inherit our main site-wide template. Where does this template apply? Expand singular and click on team members, which is our post type. And then just click on publish and then edit with oxygen once the page loads. So now that the oxygen editor has loaded, we can actually design the um, kind of inner content of the actual member details page. So what I'm gonna do here is start off by just adding in a section. And then inside this section, let's just put a column element and let's do something like uh, the 40-60 split and maybe reduce this divs width down to something like 30%. Inside of this, you can do a couple of things. The way that I like to do it to make the, the um, image stretch is set this divs background and click on this featured data button here for the background image, or excuse me, the, this uh, insert data button um, for the background image. And then this is going to allow you to insert the posts featured image. Click on insert. And then what you'll notice is that that doesn't really fit at all. So what you can do is just change the background size to cover. And then let's say we're gonna position this left 50% and top 50% and then go back to size and spacing, set the height to something like 325 pixels, and then there you go. Now it fits nicely. So that's gonna cover the whole uh, width of that div, and then that way it can stretch as the content of this uh, other div grows. So that's cool. Uh, now what we're gonna do is add in a heading element, and then let's do something similar to where we inserted that featured image, except this time what we're gonna do is double click the heading, click the insert data button that appears up here, and click on post title. And now, as you can see, we are previewing the Peter Cathy uh, team member, and he pops up right there. His, his name pops up automatically for us. So what I'm gonna do now is add in a text element. Once again, I'm gonna double click on this text, click on insert data. Now this time, click on advanced custom field, and then you can do team member title. Click on insert, and then it automatically pops in our team member title for us, which is awesome. Now what I'm gonna do is take this text and add some spacing below it. I'm gonna add in another text element, except this time I'm gonna do insert data and let's do content. So this would effectively be the person's biography. So go ahead and do that. And then as you can see, it automatically pops in that biography content for us, which is awesome. 
So now you might decide, well, I think I want my uh, social icons and my um, you know, Facebook link and phone number and all that stuff to be below this column. That's totally fine. Let's go ahead and add in, let's just say like, um, for the sake of this, we'll do another div. That's not what I wanted it to do. So I'm gonna take that div out of it, if it'll let me. I want this div to come out of the column. Let's put it underneath it. And then let's add some spacing. And then let's readjust the width of this back to our 30%, so it looks somewhat reasonable. And then let's click on this uh, column element here and add some spacing below it. And then just say something like with a little heading, connect with me. I'm gonna reduce this down to maybe 26 pixels and then add in some spacing below that heading. And now what I'm gonna do is actually use the link wrapper element. And you'll see why here in just a second. So I'm gonna add in the link wrapper and then I'm gonna set the, um, the link here in just a second to be the Facebook icon. But what we're gonna do is add in the icon element. Then let's search for the Facebook icon. Let's reduce the size down a bit to maybe 40, more like 35 or 40 pixels. And then let's add in another text element. Same thing again here. Let's just change this to Facebook profile. And now what I'm gonna do is click on this link wrapper element again, except I'm gonna say uh, stack child elements horizontally this time. And then you probably wanna add some margin to the right of that icon. And what the purpose of using the link wrapper gives you is that then you can take this featured data button here, go ahead and delete this HTTP first, click the um, featured data button, and then you can click on advanced custom field, Facebook link. And then now this whole element, both the word and the icon itself, as well as this whole block are uh, the Facebook link for this particular user. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on save. So now let's go ahead and do the same thing, except we're gonna change this up just a little bit. So go ahead and duplicate this little Facebook profile. And then what we can do is change this to the phone icon. And then let's just double click on this text here. And then we will change this to be under insert data, advanced custom field and the phone number. And then the phone number that we set for this particular user pop populates there for us automatically. So now let's go ahead and take a look on the front end and see what our team member details page looks like. So as you can see, our Facebook button uh, works just fine. It would take us to Facebook if we clicked it and our phone number displays there nicely. And actually this, this link still has Facebook, so I don't really wanna do that. Uh, but you can see that's kind of the point is you can really easily set up people's profile pages to populate using the data that you set up in the advanced custom fields on the back end. And then that way you or your client alike could get in there and change things kind of as needed. Um, so what we're gonna do now is since we have our team member page built, we actually wanna design our doctor's page that's going to d display you know, everybody in the company basically. And so if I click on this, I'm gonna do edit page, and then let's click edit with oxygen. So what we're gonna do is start off by adding in a section and then add in the easy posts element. The first thing you do is change query type from default to custom and then click post type scroll down to team members and click apply query params. And then there's our team members on the site. Everybody that we created now is populated in automatically. The easy post template that it first shows up with is, um, you know, it's a, it looks totally fine, but if you wanna change it to something like, uh, let's say list image on left, then that way everybody has their own line. That looks pretty nice, especially for smaller companies. A uh, couple of things here though, you wouldn't want it to say what uh, kind of user authored the post, I wouldn't think probably don't care about the date. Um, and then one thing that's missing is the title. You'd probably wanna see the title where this by demo is. That's all really easy to fix. So what we're gonna do is click on templates and PHP. The first thing that you can do is go ahead and delete this div right here that says date format and image date overlay. And then if I click apply code, you'll see that the date overlay is gone. And then under the date format, you don't really need that. PHP, the author, don't need that. Comments, don't need that. So effectively, we can delete this entire div right there. If you click on apply code, now you can see it's nicely cleaned up. So maybe instead of read more, you would want the button to say read bio. Just go ahead and do that. Click apply code and there you go. Now you can see it says read bio over there on the right side. So the next thing you'd probably wanna do is put the person's title directly under their name. So the way that you can do that is by looking right here, you can see this whole line says PHP the title. That's where the person's name comes from because it's entered as the post title. So what I'm gonna do is just add in a new div and let's call this team title basically. Oh, need, my, need my colon there. And then um, just close out that div real quick. 
And then we're going to write some, some really simple PHP that is going to pull the data out of our, um, our team member title field that we created earlier in advanced custom fields, which is why I mentioned keep the names relatively simple but unique because you're going to need them in situations like this. Looking back at our advanced custom fields, if we go back to our team member details, then we can see our team member title is just team underscore title. So if I copy and paste that, then the PHP just looks something like this. Go PHP the underscore field, and then just paste in the field name there. And then all you gotta do is just close it out like that. Now if you click on apply code, then you can see the person's title shows up just underneath their name, which is exactly where we wanted it to be positioned. Now you can either use selector detector or you can write your own custom CSS targeting the team title class there. And then you could also add some spacing like underneath the uh, person's name. Um, you could you know, do really anything because all this stuff has classes assigned to it by default thanks to the oxygen uh, template that we used. So let's go ahead and save this and then take a look on the front end. So now our doctor's page has everybody listed out, all four members of our team. And if we click on one of them, then it's gonna take us to their team member details page. So as you can see, it's extremely simple to set up a, um, you know, a fully fledged team member section to your website. The best part about it by far and away for me is that if you need to go change one element of somebody's profile, if the client says, hey, can you, and it, you know, may, maybe make um, like the Facebook icon a little different, can you take the Facebook icons and put it underneath their name? You don't have to go do it in this case four times or however many times you, you know, however many people you have on the site. You go do it once thanks to your oxygen template and it reflects across the entire site. I got this video requested a couple of times, which is why I made it. So if you guys have any other oxygen tutorials or uh, things that you would like to see, definitely let me know and I will add it to my list of future content ideas. Thank you so much for watching and I will look forward to seeing you in a future video.